Take five. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? My name is Cyclone Hunter, and welcome to another episode of Troublemaker. Um, this is only the fifth time because um, first time a lot of background noise. Second time I had it perfectly. I just accidentally hit the wrong fucking button. Um, third time family issue. Fourth time another family issue. <laughs> um, here's the fifth. So let me explain what um. I want to talk about real quick. Uh, the reason I'm not feeling as, you know, I guess you could say, into the story like I did with Bad Boys Girls because I think it's all the sex and stuff that gets thrown in these stories that I'm reading um, that just seem very pointless. I don't know why they go in this far. Like, I was a teenager. We didn't talk about sex this much. Like, it wasn't a big topic. And they're making it such a huge thing to talk about. Like, Huh, bet you bang that girl. Huh, man, I would love to feel his body all over me. Huh? Hey, let's hook up. Gotcha. Pay jams. Prostitution. Now, <laughs> you think about it. Um, but yeah, uh, it's just, I think that's what's throwing me off from like getting into the story because Bad Boys Girl didn't really have that. Um, it was more like a teenage love thing. This one is not that. It's more of a, it, it's, I guess you could say it feels more of an adult love thing. I guess you could say, yeah, they're still in high school, but it feels like they're more adults than teenagers, which is a bit throwing me off. So, but you know what? Whatever. That's probably me. We've barely gotten to the first couple episodes. Let's try going through more. See uh, what we can do. Or we'll see what uh, happens, I guess. Because now the story is actually starting. So let's just jump in it. Brody's diary revealed a tasty piece of information. He's been blackmailing people to look the other way when he's bad. Time to give him a taste of his own medicine. Okay, now see, this is one thing I don't understand. Um, one moment you're like, oh, I love how bad he is. And now you're over here, like, trying to defend the people he's being bad with? What caused this? I don't understand how it got caused if someone did understand it and picked it up and i didn't please leave a comment saying when did this fucking change of heart happen don't worry i'm not gonna go crazy <laughs> and that, that was not evil enough. for now um whew, okay calm down Aurora. one thing at a time if i'm gonna try my hand at this blackmail game i have to look the part I'm not paying gems. <laughs> I've got my lucky hoodie. Okay, it's not that lucky, but I like it. Dude. Actually, hold on, real quick. Let's just let's see what the other choice was. Maybe I should read dumbass and wear something I know he'll like. Let's see what you got, Brody. Dear dumbass, I've always been a sucker for skirts. But can you blame me? You put a chick in a skirt, and I'll do anything I can I can to get into it. <laughs> I mean, it's like an open in uh, open invitation, and for Brody, there's always, oh, they're always open. <laughs> Too bad for most of them, don't make me work for it. <laughs> it took most of my babysitting money, and special outfits you purchase will be unlocked in your closet. But it was totally worth it. I fucking cannot afford it. <laughs> Wait, can I? Shut up, phone. This random one loves you. <sighs> Fuck it. I, I'm, I no lie, I just realized I'm doing a lot more for this series than I ever did for Bad Boys Girl. <laughs> Fuck it. Love it. Yes, yes, yes. Because technically it makes sense. I already read the thing. It said, I spent all my money on it. Might as well. Yeah. Let's do this, bad boy. <laughs> yeah, I can't do my evil laugh right now. Hi, you are, Ra! Uh, and what are you wearing? That outfit looks so expensive. It was worth the babysitting money. You're supposed to make that last. But don't I look amazing? 
You do, baby. You look like a grown woman. <sighs> Goddamn. Look, who's here to walk you to school? It better not- Okay, good. Aurora Riley, I've been waiting like forever. Hell, oh, thank God. I'm sorry for not calling, Boo. But things have been weird. <laughs> it's cool with all things have been not so- Hi, hey, Elise. Aurora said you're going to do the dance together. I mean, yeah, kind of will be there. Where is that? Elle and I are leaving. Uh, bye, bye, Mama. Ah, uh, yeah, bye. Come home after. Oh, come home after school. We'll do, bye, bye. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Okay, so there is school the other day. I was at my locker, and that loser Sebastian. I know I'm a loser, guys. <laughs> the game's punching me. OMG, did you hear that Amy is going to the dance with him? Yeah, like a couple or something. You knew that? Yeah, Abby is going out with Sebastian and... Oh, God. And I'm going with Tyler. If you want to come with us, you need a date. What? Are you fucking kidding me? At least they sense at that point. I mean, I'm okay with the cuss words. It's just the... I guess you can't see it, but the... Explicit stuff. Uh... Come on, Aurora, it's not a big deal. Big a deal. Wait, big a deal? Was not that big a deal. There you go. Not a big deal, my ass. Oh, fuck. Both of my friends are ditching me now. Uh. Just stop, Aurora. And you need to work out more. We only walked like three blocks. I thought we were gonna go to the dance together. It's not like you even wanted to go. Why wouldn't I want to go? I hate to tell you this, but sometimes it's like you hate fun, like Amy. I don't hate fun. I'm way fun. In fact, I was about to. Oh. Hold on a second. Do I really want to tell her about my plans, blackmailing Brody, when she's ditching me? Find a date. I was going to find a date. Good luck, most of the hot boys are taking. Well, the ones that would go anyway. But I hear Elliot's free. No, Elise, no. Go to class, you bitch. Fuck you, slut. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to be a jerk about it, God. Oh, God. I'm not dating your goddamn brother. I'm just gonna shove Elise out of my head. And concentrate on my plan to blackmail Brody. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm gonna see what you've got. That was scary. I don't know how I did that. That was not my evil laugh. Okay, Kason, where are you? Mm -hmm. His private face is still in school, so his little fight with Elliot didn't get him expelled. Whatever, he's not that hot. Hey. Nope, still hot. Let's do this! Da -da -da -da. Listen, you piece of shit. Oh jeez, he's on the phone. Also, hello boys, locker room. Oh god, what are you do- Dude, Aurora, you're fucking bad shit. This is what's freaking me out. She's crazy. Okay, Aurora, well, be as quiet as possible. I'm telling you, man, I know what you're thinking, and it's gonna be a bad scene. <sighs> Who's he talking to? What's the bad scene? I'm warning you, if you do, I will personally see it, that it bites you in the ass. <laughs> Aurora, i never seen you in a skirt before. You like my outfit? Damn, I didn't realize you had those legs under there. Boom! Hmm, but wait. What are you doing here? Surprised to see me? Slick, Aurora. <laughs> God damn it. Did you come here to get me sent to the principal's office again? What? No. Or are you here to parade around my friends? Make them want you? Dude, no, I... Or are you here because you can't stand the fact that more than anything, you want another taste? No, I, uh, that, the, uh, I did, you know what, 
You know that? Uh, you got another fact for me? Go home, kid. You went over your head. Stay strong over. Why is he being such a jerk? He's over here saying, we're off limits and shit. And he banged us and all that other shit. Oh god, now I'm thinking about that. Ugh. Ew, bang a penis. <laughs> Stay strong over. You can do this. You can survive his penis. <laughs> Damn it. Must be easy to be such a bad boy when someone pays off anyone you hurt. What are you talking about? You don't remember paying off the principal to get out of being expelled? Where's this coming from? Well, maybe that you slept with your best friend's sister the other day. Listen, freak. Or maybe that the cops are picking up on your tags. A new one for the collection? What's your collection, Brody? Listen, you have no idea what you're talking about. I think I know exactly what I'm talking about. And so do you. Does the name dumbass mean anything to you? Hmm. Wait for it. You! You have my journal! Okay, here's what's gonna happen. First, you're going to give me my journal back. Then, we're gonna talk about th that skirt. Maybe I'll get inspired to write a few more pages. Stay strong, Aurora. Hold your ground. No deal, Kason. I'm not just another one of your little bedtime stories. Look, this isn't a game. There are things... You mean like getting into trouble for your tag? Don't ever talk about that. You don't know anything about me. What's the matter, Brody? Am I hitting a nerve? Fine. What is it you want? Money? No. You're going to take me out. Fuck. God damn it. Now I'm going to spend another goddamn dollar. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to. Because I, I, I think if we choose the date, he'll go out to the what's it called with us. So maybe if I do that. I don't know. Let me see how much I got real quick. This is the last fucking time. I am not joking. It is the last fucking time. I'm not doing it again. It's the last fucking time. Because I cannot be spending my entire wallet on this. <laughs> I mean, it, it gets better if you do, but it's not really worth it. It's really not. I should not be even doing what I'm doing here. But I am, for some goddamn reason. Yeah, I'm done now. <laughs> I want a date. The words escaped my lips before I could even register what I was saying. You're blackmailing me for a date. You can't be serious. Why wouldn't I be serious? Because chicks have done a lot more for a lot less. Gross. Uh, yeah. Well, I would like to be taken out. To dinner. If I do that, you'll give me my journal back? We'll see. Come on. I can't believe she'd do this to me. Although... <laughs> it's kind of hot. At least he's okay with it. <laughs> How much longer is this gonna take? It's going to. Dude, we just got here. Yeah, and I'm ready to be done. Oh, God. Maybe this whole thing was a bad idea. So, you have any brothers or sisters? What do you care? I don't know. I'm just trying to make this feel a little like a normal date, okay? Well, maybe I'd be a bit more chatty if you weren't blackmailing me to be here. He's not wrong. I thought you said you couldn't resist a girl in a skirt. I never said I didn't like the view. Okay, so what would you do if there, if this were like a real date? If I were trying to get you into your pants? Like if you actually asked me out, what would you do? Well, I'd start by telling you that you look amazing today. Maybe you look incredible. Saying everything for me to not take you right here and now. Uh, I don't want to wait for dinner. I want to take you in my arms right now. Why don't we get out of here? We got a car parked just down the street. 
Go to the eye. Do something like that. Good evening and welcome to Kajinos. My name is Jason. Dude, you're Brody Kason. You heard of me? Yeah, aren't you the guy who stepped with half the volleyball team? Dude, shut the hell up. Could we maybe find uh, the specials? <laughs> You slept with my buddy's girl and totally ruined the relationship. Okay, maybe there's another waiter who can help. Uh, Look, you're saying a lot of things, man. Why don't you calm it down? I'm just saying, if you're going to sleep with everything that moves, why don't you take your sluts somewhere else? Dude, I am not. You're going to apologize for calling her that. And you're going to do it now. Get out of here. Hey, Rory. Uh, you saw that I warned him, right? We should just go. I warned you, dude. <laughs> Rory slammed his power fist into the kid's face, sending him flying. I ran over, peeled him off, pulling him out the front door and into the streets. <sighs> oh, God. Why did you have to do that? Why wouldn't you, at why would you attack the guy? He called you a slut. Wait a minute. Is Brody Kaysen defending my honor? Brody, I... Oh, how was it? I heard the car coming over the radio and I knew this was you, Kaysen. Look who it is, Officer Pokey. It's Officer Mike, you bitch! This can't get any worse. And you and your little friend are under arrest. Wait a minute, what? What the fuck? Are you fucking... Wow, okay. That was 17 minutes. Dude, that felt so much shorter. I think it was because I did in-app purchases. Never again will I do in-app purchases. Okay, well, that will do it here. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, share this video with all you guys, fans, you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Troublemaker. Bye, guys.